Hey, what's up guys? Trix here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Living Underground. I believe we are on episode 5 or 6 so far, I can't quite remember. Um, we've had a few deaths this series, but I'm aiming for no deaths this episode, because this episode, what I want to do is fight the Eye of Cthulhu, and I plan to beat him, and I'm totally prepared to beat him. Um, but off camera, I've done a couple things. As you can see, there we have, um... A time notification I made myself just a simple copper watch um, so that so that we can just tell the hour um, I found a life crystal while I was out caving and also uh, I made myself a mushroom clock so we can get the specific time so right now it's 1 57 p.m. now it's 2 p.m. or something so we have the specific time up here in our bedroom and then we just have the hour on our figure which is uh, which is good because we need to know the time since we're living underground and we can't see the day um, I made this little pathway to, I'm, I'm made a giant pathway to make everything a bit smoother from walking to our house to walking to the main spawn. So normally we would uh, come, we would jump up this little hole right here, come down here, jump around here and go to our house like that. But we don't have to do that anymore as I made this little bridge. And then I built this long pathway that goes, that this part which bypasses this, um, this is what we used to have to do. We used to have to go down here, down this hole, jump down here into this little pocket of water. Then we have to climb around up here, jump up, do some parkour on this uh, backwards L shape, jump up here if we can make it, and come back up here to walk across down to here. But now all we have to do is just walk through this little hole, so that makes everything a lot easier. I made myself a golden pickaxe so that we can mine a bit faster. It's better than that uh, silver pickaxe we started with. I got some more bullets for the gun. I made myself a golden bow for a fight with the Eye of Cthulhu. Um, I built a another pathway that just goes straight to the arena and such. It's a pretty long staircase so that we don't have to navigate through this weird cave system down here. Uh, while I was doing that, I found this triple gym cave. I thought you could only get double gym caves, but in this case, we got three gyms in one cave, and that was Amethyst, Ruby, and Topaz, which is really good. Um, what else did I get? Uh, I think that's really about it. I did um, get some... I got a bunch of ores and stuff, and I put a bunch of silt through the extractor leader that I all got from mining these pathways. Um... But once we follow this pathway through, we get down to... Oh, gosh, what was that? That was really weird breathing. Um, sounded like I was having a stroke or something. We get down to our, our arena. So we just have a quick quick way to get to the arena. I should... That, that isn't... Uh, that's off, and it's kind of bugging me. Because now... Because normally, now what I have to do is just jump on that block, then jump up here. But if I would move that all these up one block I wouldn't have to do that but that does sound like work and I'll just do it off camera so now what we're doing is just waiting until what is it uh, 730 or night to begin so that we can fight the Eye of Cthulhu I'm prepared I have all the potions that I can have I have a sugar cookie and some healing potions and then I have some weapons I've got uh, grenades, a bow, and my Red Rider BB gun with a compass in the stock. Uh, hopefully I won't shoot my eye out, but we'll just see. Oh, also, I have a bunch of shurikens. So, um, those are what you use mainly for the Eye of Cthulhu. But, yeah, I've got the suspicious looking eye right here, and so we're going to check that out. Oh, uh, I forgot. Um, the traveling merchant is here. Uh, let's run back. And check what he has to offer because I forgot to do that while uh, while I was just working off camera. Oh, it's 5 p.m. Uh, we have two minutes, two and a half minutes left to run back and check on the traveling merchant and see what he has to offer. If we want to do that, then we can run back here and see what the uh, see how we fare against the Eye of Cthulhu. We pretty much have to win as we only have one suspicious looking eye. And we don't have any stars to help us beat him like we did in the 1.2 Let's Play. If anybody remembers, um, or if anybody has seen that episode where we fight the Eye of Cthulhu, the reason we beat him was because we were losing, and then a falling, uh, falling star hit him as he, uh, hit him and dropped him down half, half of his health. 
And so we were able to beat him. Fancy dishes, extended rib. Okay, uh, wait. Uh, pad thai. Let's buy one of those. And a sake. Or however you pronounce it. Sake. Or something. Okay, so we've got two more potions to improve our stats. Oh, gosh. Wait, did I eat it? Oh, gosh. Uh, sake, pad thai. Okay, I still have all of them. I accidentally ate it. Okay, and... Oh, just in time, too. Ooh, he just departed, so glad we went and checked him, uh, checked him out, or else we wouldn't have been able to get those two potions. So we reached there just in the nick of time. Anyways, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I have clue. We don't have any outside help this time, but we do have tungsten armor, which is the better, uh, better version of the silver armor. I did try and get a tungsten helmet, but I just couldn't get enough tungsten. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We have, wait. Shouldn't we have 8 defense? Um, wait, no. We should have... So that's 5, that's 8, and that's 9 defense. Why does it only say we have 5 defense? 4 defense, 2 defense, 0 defense. Uh, okay. Um, that's interesting. Ah, gosh, dang it. Um, I just realized that I have my mining helmet. In the wrong slot. Oh, that provides us with one defense. Why? Why is this only? Why is this not giving us all of our defense? That's interesting. Anyways, I think it's about time for us to begin our fight. Um, so let's just make sure we have everything ready. Healing potions in the right slot. Let's do this. Oh, wait, no. Let's buff up first. Eat that and the sake. Okay, we're all buffed up. Can we spawn him yet? It's 7 p.m. I guess it's not 7:30 yet. Uh, we'll just have to wait a second before we can spawn him. Oh, yeah, also, I upgraded my topaz hook to a ruby hook. Ah, okay, there we go. We are on our way. Eat my grenades. Eat my grenades. Oh, gosh, I hit myself. That was not good. Eat my grenades. Oh, gosh, get away from it. Okay, let's just go back to the bow. Uh, regular bow, uh, like a normal trigger player. Okay, let's heal up. Let's do this. Just focus on him. Focus on him. Okay, we really have to get him. Jump and avoid his uh, servant of Cthulhu, whatever they're called. Yep, that's what they're called, servants. I don't have any sandstorm in a bottle or anything to jump around him, so that isn't very good. Although I did find a bunch of sand. Um, I thought it was going to create a hole to the surface, but thankfully it didn't. Okay, get, get, just get those guys away from me, please. Ah, keep the, the servants are getting kind of annoying. So we should, um, uh, we should shuriken him up now. Um, shuriken up the servants and him. The servants do drop hearts, which is good. Um, let's try and get above him with these, with this pathway. He's about to charge us, so we'll have to jump out of the way in just a second. Uh, shurikens are doing, ah, there we go, there's the charge. Um, he's going to come up here, so let's grenade him. Oh gosh, we hit ourselves and fall damage, that's not good. But we did do quite a bit of damage to him. Okay. Just keep grenading him up. Because... Oh, okay. Get away from it. Get away from it. Missed the, missed the grenade. Come at me. Come at me. Come on. Okay. Uh, we can heal up again when we need to. Let's get our rifle out for some quick damage. I can't jump him, so that's slightly unfortunate. But I can hit him with these ranged attacks. Oh, and we did recover a flaming arrow. Uh, I don't think we should heal up yet. But we should in just a second. Uh, shuriken, shuriken, shuriken. Uh, oh, okay. We can probably jump around him by getting close to the wall and grappling him up. Um, oh, gosh. That missed. That's not going to go well. Just hit him. Okay. Okay, good. We did hit one of his servants. Uh, kill all these stupid servants. Um, because they are really doing a ton of damage to us. Okay, shuriken, shuriken, shuriken. Okay. There we go. Oh, and he's entering the second phase where he does more damage. Heal up, heal up, and get away from me, Mr. I of Cthulhu, sir. Oh, gosh. Um, okay, we just have to get through the second phase, and... Oh, gosh, dang it. We have to jump over him, but we can't jump over him. I should have put some more platforms down. That might have been useful. Uh, get back on him. Okay, good, we did juke him out. Okay, let's just keep hitting with these flaming arrows. Because those are setting him on fire, which is doing constant damage to him. Alright, wait for the swoop. And he's going to swoop down here. Okay, dang it. Ah, okay. We need to just 
Last 30 more seconds, we can heal up again. Oh gosh, 94 health. Uh, let's get above him. And just grenade him up. Oh gosh. We don't have it. Uh, grenades aren't working. Uh, shuriken, shuriken, shuriken. One, 15 more seconds. Last. Come on, we can do it. We can last. Just shuriken, shuriken, shuriken. Oh, I'm getting myself into a corner. Oh gosh. Seven seconds. Can we last? Can we do it? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, heal up. Heal up. There we go. Okay. We still have. We, we're, we've got a better chance now. Uh, let's grenade him. Oh gosh. No, we have to wait now. And wait for it. Hit that grenade. Oh gosh. No, he didn't hit that grenade. Dang it. Okay. Just. He has 326 health left. Just hit him with some grenades. 64 health. 138 health left. Let's do it. Uh, one more grenade. Okay. And nine health left. Let's finish that off with the sword. And we have defeated the Eye of Cthulhu. That was awesome. That was intense. Let's look at our spoils. We have plenty of crimpton ore now. 56, so that's good. Um, we won't be able to fight him again for a little while. We have some crimson seeds, which is nice. Uh, what else did we get? We got two gold. So yeah, we have finally defeated our first boss boss we are making some progress in our living underground world and it is only 11 p.m so we fought him oh how long was that battle if it started at 7 30 now it's 11 that's about three minutes three and a half minutes so that was a short battle um but we did get some crimson ore let's go let's go see what we can make if we can make a nightmare a nightmare pickaxe that'd be great but I do believe we need some, uh, whatever's called Shadow Scales or something for that. Uh, next up, we have to fight the Brain of Cthulhu because I just realized, since he dropped Crimson Ore, this is a Crimson World. This is not a Corrupt World, so we just have to go and fight the Brain of Cthulhu next up. So that means that we have to mine until we can reach the Crimson, and then we'll have to blow our way through it with bombs and such until we can get something that can break the, um, Crimson Block. But anyways, let's check, let's smelt up all this, all this crimptane, and see what we can make. Uh, we can make ourselves the Blood Butcherer, which I'll probably make, uh, a better axe, tin and bow, and a better sword, um, or fishing, whatever it's called. I'm gonna make myself the, or get the Blood Butcherer, because the Blood Butcherer is a very good sword, and I quite like it. It's faster than our candy cane sword, but... That was successful. We didn't die this episode, which is always good. Dying is not a good thing. So, um, yeah, I feel successful. We have finally hit one of our first milestones in the series, and uh, we've defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, which is really the first boss uh, that everybody fights, because it is the first boss. And so, yeah, next up, next up, as I said, we have the Brain of Cthulhu sometime. Um, we only used 43 shurikens. Huh, thought, thought we used more than that. We get, I guess we just recovered a bunch. So, yeah, anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of Terraria Living Underground, whatever episode this was. Let's slaughter this bunny with the Blood Butcher. Um, ah, oh, such a good sword. Brings back memories to the early days of the 1.2 Let's Play in the 10 through 25 episodes, I guess, when I had the Blood Butcher. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.